An Indonesian influencer was just sentenced to two years in jail for eating pork on TikTok, and the internet is in a huge debate about it. Yeah, Lena Latfiawati, known as Lena Mukherjee on social media, she said an Islamic phrase, a Muslim prayer before she ate. Bismillah, eh, lupa. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> But then she ate pork rinds when she was in Bali. Bali is mostly a Hindu zone. That's why they had the pork rinds. She herself is Muslim. She got charged under essentially disrespecting or like violating a religion law. She got two years, $16,000 fine, Andrew. This is a big deal and a lot of people got a lot of opinions about it. Whoa, so is this the government coming down hard on an influencer because the person has influence or do you think anybody who is in this situation would have the law come down this hard? Obviously, we're not like Indonesian law experts here, okay? We're just gathering what we can from it and giving you our opinion. But uh, anyways, guys, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys because this is, it does raise kind of an interesting question about the whole globe judging mm. how a society is ran, whether or not we agree with it or not, um, which I would say most people disagree and with And also, this. it actually raises some interesting questions about like what is respect and what is freedom depending on like who's defining these words, right? Yeah. So I guess, David, to get into the the law of it, what do you, what is it saying that she's getting charged with? All right, so she's basically not getting charged with eating the pork, but getting charged with violating the religion by uttering the religious phrase before she eats it. So you mean by like trolling the religion, she's getting in trouble for disrespecting a religion, which is Islam, which happens to be the main religion. Right, the 90% religion that she is also a part of herself. Okay. So they're saying, basically saying that because she's an influencer and she was toying this line, basically knowing that she was gonna get in trouble to get more views, to make more money, you can't, there's certain things that you we're not gonna allow you to play with. Obviously, let's be honest, the courts, they're probably run by a more uh, traditional Very people from people. an older generation, yeah. probably not her generation. And you know what I mean? Like, who, who, you know what I mean? But they, uh, they gave her a harsh punishment. Two no, years it, in prison. It is a harsh punishment. Whole, I mean, I think most people agree it's, it's overly harsh. I mean, even a lot of Indonesians still agree that it is harsh, you know, right, for, right, right. for what she did. But I guess like, yeah, I guess, I guess what's the overall, like, what, what, what is your quick take on this? I think my quick take is this, that different societies, they run so differently and, and different, like, even age ranges of different societies are, like, adherent to different things. Like, some people are really strict and maybe the younger generation's gonna, like, ease up, but the older generation's still in power. If you look at the leadership of most large countries or any countries in the world, they're 60, 70, 80, 90 years old sometimes, right? So they're from the old internet, pre-internet days. But then these people, we're growing up in the global internet Internet, and we're like thinking everything is like one way but then the older people sometimes they tell the young people no we're still with the older ways yeah yeah and i still think it's it's generally old people still running the world right now um my general take is like man uh you know uh i feel like that they're making an example out of her because she has two million followers and her being influential and i guess if they deem that what she was doing was trolling and disrespecting a religion and particularly the main religion, then that is against law. Because listen, you have freedom to be whatever religion you want in Indonesia. There are Christians, there's Catholics, there's Hindus, and there's Muslims. There's Buddhists too, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's Buddhists. So they all have the religion. You are free to practice your religion, but you're not free to disrespect a religion, especially Islam probably. So I guess what I'm saying though is like a lot, like is it similar? Is this a, like a metaphor to how sometimes in America, I'm like, dude, I think all prank YouTube channels should get demonetized. Mm. I think prank YouTubers should not be able to make as much money off of pranking real life society. So, but to them, this is as bad as a prank. Right. Because every, in every, Indonesia, because they're strict, they're conservative Muslims. Every culture got different, like, thresholds and sometimes it even varies state to state like let's just use america for example just to take it out so people can understand it better in north carolina there was a youtuber who recently got shot in the stomach for pressing somebody in the mall like kind of be i wouldn't say like life or death but definitely being physically aggressive towards somebody in the mall and the guy said back up back up back up get away from me and the guy ended up shooting the youtuber in the stomach the youtuber doesn't die but actually under north carolina law they didn't charge that guy with attempted murder they only ended up charging him with discharging a weapon in the mall mm. which was so basically he's gonna go to jail but he's not gonna get like the tier of uh, prosecution that he could have gotten maybe even in a different state because everybody in North Carolina, let's be honest, probably more like, yeah, I don't like it when those pranksters are running up on me either. 
Right. You know what I mean? Or in, I imagine in Texas, he might even got less charges. Mm. So it goes to show you, man, Every it's even state to state. Of course, country to country, civilization yeah. to civilization. No, I, I'm sure even state to state in Indonesia, region to region. You know, there's different regions that are governed by different things. Bali is a Hindu area of Indonesia. It is generally considered a little bit more like liberal open. But a lot of people are saying that Indonesia has been as correct progressively in the past few years become more and more strict and more and more conservative. So, right, right. so unfortunately, yeah, I mean, this is pretty unfortunate. And, and it's almost like an internal thing within uh, the society because these societies are so big, just like American society. So big, Where, which fishbowl are you growing up with in within a large country? Mm. Uh, anyway, let's just get into the comment section. Somebody said, man, it's so important to have separation of church and state. Somebody said, you know, is, uh, cultural issues such as guns, sex, drugs, Everything, it varies so much around the world and it can even vary state to state within right, right, province right. to province within a country. Mm -hmm. I think the thing is, you just got to be aware of what fishbowl you're in. And if you play with fire, I sometimes you get burned, right? But it's not, you know what I mean? You could judge the fire for saying whether, oh, if I was the fire master, would I do set that fire? But the fire is the fire. Oh, man, yeah, I mean... That's tough, man. Like, I, I that is such a crazy sentence to get. Like, I could see if she broke, if she was disrespecting me, I mean, I could see a fine, maybe her TikTok getting taken down for a little bit or something. But if she really ends up doing two years in jail, that's it's pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, some people were saying that they need to focus more on corruption or misappropriation of government funds. And this shows that the priorities are wrong because it's more about maintaining this or that. I don't know, guys. You guys let me know. Keep it civil in the comment section below. Somebody said, what people will do for attention, likes, and fame. It's kind of funny, but sad. She was well aware of those draconian laws, but she decided to flout them on camera. What was her end goal, huh? Someone said, yeah, her end goal was just likes and notoriety. Are people just sick of influencers? Like, because, like we said, Andrew, magnetism has to do with these invisible boundaries. There's these invisible electric fences all in society. And it's like you toy with them because that's being edgy. And being edgy gets you more eyeballs, eyeballs, more fun, more dopamine, more money. Yeah, I, I am sick of influencers that make content that I deem is destructive to society and i guess in indonesia they're gonna look at this and be like you are potentially being a bad influence to people in indonesia right, right. and you're gonna make money off of it right well watch me throw down this two-year sentence if at least she does like house arrest you know and get who knows what will happen in the i don't know what will happen right? i don't know if she'll actually serve the two years because you know we're just getting the news as we get it i don't know i'm not like in indonesia right now so i don't understand all the ins and outs but that is yeah, it seems like but, enough to scare people. Yeah. Now, listen, but, what but, if they put out this news just to scare people? Yeah. That she's not actually going to do two years in jail, but they're just like, just to let you know, if you do this in Indonesia, we're going to come down on you. Right, and I think that their argument is very interesting in the sense that they're saying like, yeah, you could say that she should be protected under freedom of speech or freedom of eat, right? Or you could also say that she should be persecuted under the need to respect. Because there's so many laws, right? And they just say, it depends on the interpretation. Anyway, guys, I just hope that this world can figure out a way into the future, Andrew. Sometimes some societies, they move slow. They move fast. Some societies, other the slow societies say the societies move too fast. The fast societies say the slow societies move too slow. Everybody's judging each other on the internet. Nobody's living amongst each other, but everybody can see each other because everything is everywhere. Yeah. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Uh, I do understand that different countries have very strict laws, and I do think that there's a reason for strict laws. But this, I wish that they publicly just made her apologize and maybe gave her a fine. I could see that. And I think that that would have sent a strong enough message. And I think that that's what they should have done and what that's what other strict countries should do. Like, um, there are countries, you know, even in China, you can't say certain things. But... I don't think you should get thrown in jail. I do think that you can get a warning and be like, hey, man, you said something that violated our terms of service. On YouTube, if you say certain things that violate the term of service, you can get demonetized too and blocked. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everybody has their limits. Like you said, every country, society, platform, company has their threshold. But, um, man, I wouldn't play around in Indonesia, man. 
<laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys, uh, you guys let us know in the comments down below what you guys think about all this. Um, is it people coming down on influencers because she's influential, 2 million followers? People are, are extrapolating like, oh, well, if she's trolling religions, then other people are going to do it and people think it's okay. Then I don't right. want that. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I definitely am also really interested in everybody's comments saying like in 20, 30 years when the kids that are like 20 or 30 now take over societies, how much will societies change or will they change less than we think? Because immediately my initial thought is that they'll change a lot. Because right now, a lot of the leaders, they're still pre-internet. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. We encourage debate. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.